My name is Harish Nagaraj. Uh, my GitHub handle is at Harish Nagaraj. Um, I work on a company called Audius, and we are a decentralized music streaming platform. I've been working on it for about a year now, and I am a software engineer Amazing. on the back end team. Audius is basically this decentralized audio streaming protocol, and our goal is to really like put control back in the hands of creators. We want to give artists control over their content and do it in a transparent way. And I think that the best way that we've concluded to do that is through blockchain and through you know, technologies such as IPFS that allow us for like decentralized storage, but also allow other people to participate as part of this protocol. With other streaming platforms, for example, like if you're an artist on Spotify or SoundCloud, right? If you get you know, 10 million streams, you don't get paid out for those 10 million streams until you know, some amount of time later. And oftentimes, the reasoning behind how much you get paid or why you got paid this much versus someone else with the same number of streams is very opaque. I'd say like the music industry in general is very opaque to creators, right? And that's something that we're trying to solve. Just the general philosophy behind IPFS is very aligned with the philosophy behind Audius. And it was a very clear choice when we started that this would be the system that we use. I would say that Audius puts the power back in the hands of content creators and really strips away the middleman when it comes to music, which is something that I think we all relate to and we all can like really get behind. So rights management is a huge issue in the music industry in general, right? It's something you see all the time. You see artists getting sued for things they unknowingly even sampled or interpolated, right? And if you part of what we've outlined in the Audius white paper as part of our long-term goals is on-chain transparent arbitration for these rights. So we want you to be able to define a right split, for example, right? And while that's not something we are immediately releasing, that is imminently on the horizon for us. In the immediate term, in terms of the demographic that Audius is targeting, it's definitely more beneficial for like independent artists or people who have complete control over their music to be part of our network. But our long, like our long-term goal is to get you know anybody who's interested in music onto the network. But there's no reason that creators should not get rewarded for the work they do if it's quality work, right? And you like we see things like Patreon that exists and have like you know market impact. But I think that there is huge opportunity in decentralized land for music specifically. I wanted to come here to get a first-hand perspective of you know, how IPFS is going, as well as to learn from people working on the project directly. And I'd like look forward to just being part of this community moving forward. And that's something I didn't realize just like the velocity of things un until like, you know, maybe like a couple weeks ago when we were getting prepared for the camp. And I was like, wow, this is happening now, right? So we've been working with the technology for a while and the delta in terms of like momentum is ridiculous right now, I think. I think it's really, really interesting how like spread out the community is in a good way. We are a geographically redundant community, which is huge, right? It's great to see everyone not being from San Francisco. I really like meeting people from all over the world here. You know, I've met people from India, from China, and from all over Europe just casually today, all here for the same reason. And it, I think it speaks to how deeply the concept of IPFS resonates with people across the world, right? I would say that the Lib P2P workshop where we worked through building a chat app in the CLI and browser was super useful and something I wish I had actually had exposure to earlier before you know working with IPFS so heavily. That was really, really cool. Um, I also really enjoyed the lightning talks, actually. I know that's probably not what we were talking about, but for example, to see what people are doing with containerization and containers on IPFS, that blew my mind. And I was like, this is going to happen, like, you know, and we're seeing the first talk about it. Like, this is going to be a thing. What I think is so unique about this experience is just the level of excitement, honestly, around a project like this, which is something that's easy to not understand when you're working, you know, remotely, right, and not seeing other people that are so excited about this technology. But here it is super clear. Just the level of enthusiasm, the level of vibrancy, and the definite like change and impact that this community is going to have moving forward. It's a very rare opportunity in a cool way, I think. And also it's great to be around other people who are also developing with this technology, right? This is like cutting edge tech. And it's really, really cool to have all these people around. Because normally when I tell people, like I tell my parents, like, yeah, I work with IPFS, it's super cool. They're like, but it's not Microsoft, you know? And I'm like, no, it's way cooler.